here is she sees this uh, red. Uh, okay, it show you where you need to shoot. <laughs> so here is right side window. It's the easiest weapon. Just go over here and shoot. You guys want to see a trick? Let's go straight and ready. All you need is a flash and an SMG. Best spawn for B. Now, the only thing with this this trick is that if they have the best possible spawn for B, you're gonna die. But you run out like this. You have a flash in your hand. You throw the flash while running like this, like that. See, in front of you. Run with it. See, he's blind. He's blind. And you get a kill. <laughs> so that's the trick that's right there. Time. Put that shit in ready, boys, cause it motherfucking works, right? Microphone muted. Did you see that, guys? He dropped the... Dude! I love FPL. He dropped the gun on a higher surface, so it doesn't make a sound when it drops. Man, FPL is so good. You learn so much. Wait, what the fuck? I can't move. I got stuck. I got stuck. Bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. How did you do it? <laughs> I'm magic, man. What is this I'll, shit? I'll... You can hold up, bro. Yeah, I, have I can hold. If you hold like this, I'm gonna hold, hold the like okay, hold over over. as well. Sure. So let me know when you don't have teammate oh, or else. Fuck. fuck. Yeah, I have teammate. Oh. I'm gonna try that, guys. Reload your deagle, take it as a flash. Holy shit! You know these motherfuckers. They be they smoke mid. They smoke mid. You know. You're the window player. You're chilling. You're just chilling. You know. You're just chilling. You're waiting about fucking. You know. what I'm saying like fucking five set five ten seconds. You know. what I'm saying five ten seconds. Then all of a sudden. Then then only then do you throw this smoke bam. Bam. Now you wait. Now you wait. Now they think that they think that it's all it's all fine and dandy. Damn. Damn, that window smoke is lasting a super long time. What? Well, ah, ace, bro. Fucking ace, bro. Fucking ace, dude. Hey. There's a good flash. And you're going in. I mean, you need to tur turn around first, but. You're going in. Maybe he will be blind. This should mean you die though. He's under a Valk. Yeah. Or on top of Valk. I think he's on top. You ready for this? I learned this lineup back in Nam. Ready? So I shoot the corner. Oh! <laughs> no way, That's dude. so hilarious. Right I actually now. got it. Tell me right now. I can show you. I can show you. Just go. Okay, go into that corner. <laughs> uh, it was about 3 a.m. Yeah. and uh. <sighs> Uh, Hugh, Hugh was it? I, can't, I can't remember his name, but I was watching a Deagle tutorial, and apparently, if you uh, tap to the uh, the song uh, "Staying Alive," okay, the hip fire, uh, the um, the spread resets during that. So if you go like ha 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 ha, staying alive, you get perfect. I can't take you seriously. I'm right serious. Now. There you go. That's a tutorial. I just gave you that one for free. Oh shit. There it is, chat. Somebody clip it and then put it on Reddit for me so I can steal it somebody else's hard earned work. Yeah, the angle's weird because the the AK spray, you just pull straight down for like the first I think 10 bullets. Important saving. But with yeah. the SG, you have to pull down to the left instantly. But with the AK, it's only pull down. It's very simple. So, in my opinion, it's easier to replicate just a down movement than a down and left movement. Like a hard down and left. ...of winning the round now. If we stop the clip here once again, this is where it gets real dicey and where complexity is showing a lot of inexperience. For some reason, this dude thinks it's a good idea to fight alone. Now, if this goes wrong, he's gonna die. 
While that happens, you see the next guy come into line. Shazam thinks it's a good idea to fight alone. That's why his two teammates are hiding behind the wall because they, th they know that it's a very bad idea to fight the anti-eco from face clan from this distance. Now Shazam is going down and all of a sudden you have a situation where it was a 5 versus 3 for complexity turning into a 3 versus 2 situation. So again, first railing, aim right here in between the, the two pieces of wood and jump through. And it gets like, yeah. But the problem with this molly is they can boost up, right? And they run up like this and they're good, you know? So you gotta be careful for that. I would use this in matches and then my teammate would always get a pick. My teammate was tens and he would, he would be the connector guy and I'd be the cat guy. And he'd always smoke this off. And I would instantly flash this for him. And he would always get a pick. He will always get a pick like this. He doesn't even need a turn. He just peeks. And he's dead. Let that me see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks retarded, but it's kind of, I think it. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Oh my, oh my <laughs> god. Bro, you literally teleport. Yeah. Like, I don't like, see you. I don't you see you. Cool, but this, if you don't expect that, this guy's gonna like pop up. But especially since I, you're, well, I don't know, it depends on your coursework if you're doing like AP, all that kind of, whatever, it doesn't matter. So like an hour, maybe two hours when you get home from school, right? And then from there, I would say I would recommend like when you're playing Counter-Strike, deathmatch for like 30 minutes to an hour every day, maybe broken in 15 to 30 minute blocks. And then after that, being on a team is, is basically the biggest and the best way to improve in Counter-Strike. Because... Pug Counter-Strike, Pug Counter-Strike, even FPL doesn't teach you, like, Team CS. And that, and Pugs and all that teach you how to make individual plays on your own and how to be self-sufficient. But it's not the real game of Counter-Strike. So you need to be on a team and you need to have, like, a practice schedule with them. And you need to try to manage it make sure you guys all have the same goals and same ideas of what you want. I throw this, I know there's an op Z, so he might come to truck. I gotta worry about the op truck soon. But I isolated this guy. Now I have one guy to fight here, highway. That's free kill. Now the other guy should be on the fringe of the smoke, right? Somewhere right here. Okay. The other guy's spawn truck, right? We heard him shoot an op earlier, so he has to be right here. I blinded him with that flash. Now I'm pushing up on him because he's not ready for me. Right? It's all two plus two equals four type of thing, right? Last guy should be B, so since he killed my teammate. Well, that's wrong. I don't I think the most useful smokes are all these ones all of the ones from Tetris bro These are the most useful man, ones man. I'm telling you guys bro the amount of times like you need to throw a smoke from Tetris is very often Very often Bam, look at that shit. Fucking look at that. Oh man, the brain. Oh, the brain. The brain on the J nasty. The brain on the J nasty. Oh, much brain. Much brain, much wow. I don't know CS, why does spray go off crosshair? Fuck, it so scared bad, me, so dude. Bad. My chance he just went to the vent into market. He probably won't be in B already because he thinks I could be in B, so he'll probably be spotting it. If he's not spotted in that, he's probably not close. Which means by the time I plant, he shouldn't be able to hear it, which means I should have time to do this. Oh, I didn't have time to do that. So now where's the opera coming? Behind him, which means the opera is going to post. Which means I should probably hide bench. You think you my cat? No. So they're both together because he came out so fast. The opera's on the right, so this is a free kill. The other guy's going to try to hit. He's come to left because we made that stack. He's dumb. Come on, the, the smallest details, you can't just walk into where you just made a step towards that direction. Sick. Making it look too easy. That I was fucking ill. Thank you, Antigmo. I'm going to show you one last trick in the last round right here. May work, may not work, but it's a small trick. doesn't work all of the time, but it works enough of the times if you call it at the right moment. Now, I do know that they don't have any MVP right now. That would be ridiculous because they've wasted all their money now. Smoke like this and you run with it. You have two flashes in your hands. Jump. Jump like this. And you have your mate covering you even. Just flash out like that. So if there's a scout on MVP, you don't die. You jump up like this. Hit the flash right there. It's going to bounce over here. And you are getting... What? He's blind! Can someone boost me? Okay. Yeah. 
So you get in this corner right here. Right this okay. top corner, there's one, two, three boxes. So that smoke, right here to here. Run. Throw when that goes there. Wait, no, I think I fucked up the mall. No, I don't know. Oh, spooky. Oh, damn it. That is so unfortunate. I know, I wasn't even looking. I'm so unaware, he's showing me his movement, he's dying. I'm letting my team die right now, but... Like, the fact that they just let me do this, yeah, I can pull out my knife probably, and flank. Because I know so confidently that these guys are just not watching anything. They gave me the noise to tell me right now that I don't even- I, I could talk to you guys and not even pay attention because of how they're playing. And it's- and you have to be so aware of rotations when you're doing something like this. Because if you're gonna play CS and know that you're gonna have a site be hit, you need to realize what's gonna work- happen in the middle of the bomb site. So as I'm He's middle- I read the other day as to why certain guns are wider than others on the- on the overlay. Uh... I never knew this either. Okay, go on. It it actually means that the gun was dropped over to them. They didn't buy it themselves. So right now, device is AWP. He bought that. The rest are guns picked up from a previous round or dropped that's over at actually, the start of this. I don't know if you're trolling me again. Like, No, I'm not. No, that's no, actually true. That's actually, so if I go I through right that. now, if I click Zipix on my screen, he's number three. It's JW's op he's holding. Whereas if I go to device, wow. it's his op. I didn't actually know that. I didn't that's know that true. either. Someone that's pointed that out. I don't know who it was, but you deserve a mask. Do you want to learn an EU smoke, guys? You walk in here. And you aim here, and you throw. Smoke. It will land, so you can come up and connect you. Aha! Now that's a EU smoke. Then you throw the smoke, and you come up here, and you're like... Oh, this is the dual elite. I'm gonna fuck you up, Trick. This isn't the Kellen house anymore. He's gonna be so sad in AFs now. He's gonna be so fucking sad that I'm just gonna come in rushing with dual elites. Okay, AF screen. <laughs> Fuck, did he see me? Yeah, it's your turn. Well, well, okay then. <laughs> Told you, I showed you a trick with it. It's called Fuck with the Duels. So there's some new people that want to know. How do you bunny hop? And here we go. All right. So first you jump. And what you do is you bind jump to mouse wheel down or mouse wheel up, whichever one you prefer, and begin. So what I'm doing, I'm jumping right. I'm holding A, D, A, D, D, A, D, A, D, A, D, A, D, a. So what I'm doing is I'm jumping, whichever way that I'm jumping is the way that I'm strafing. So if I'm jumping to the right, I'm holding D until I land and then I'm switching it to the, to the A. So by A is obviously left, D is obviously right. So I'm jumping to the right, I'm holding D and then I, as soon as I land and I jump, I s press A. Now, how to bunny hop sideways? Now, think of it the exact same way. It's the exact same way, ex but it's just you have to be using W, S instead of A and D. So, W, S, W, S, W, W, S, S, W, S, W, W, S, S, Yeah, all of them. is the best process to do yourself on a pro team? Grind individually, network with better players, play pickup game leagues. You're out? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm pushing door, pushing door, sir. Should just sit at the back and hold it How much did you health did you lose from dropping there? One. <laughs> Least one flash. Stay over here. Just one for flash for B up. If you want to play support role, you can ask. But the one thing I always like, people always ask, like, what? How do you get better? Like, if I was to say. How are you going to get better at anything you do in your life? What are you going to say to me? Like, what does every single successful person always fucking say? Work hard. Right? There's just really no tricks to it. You just fucking... Just have to grind, man. That's all it is. Like, figure out your recipe for success. Like, your own routine. You don't... You could take... 
Learn from other pros that have done it. Don't just try and learn from your favorite one because you're limiting yourself to that person. Learn from other pros that are in the scene, right? So if you like certain players, but don't limit yourself to just one. Limit. Look at everybody. See what they do. Figure out how their recipe worked and take bits and pieces of everybody else's. I do that to this day in this game. I look at other pros in this game. I figure out how they do shit. And I take bits and pieces that I enjoy and don't enjoy to see how it is and works for myself. What I see people do, like noobs, is they'll start spraying, and by the time they reach 30 bullets, they pull down so much that their bullets are on the floor. So, you know. You have to just get used to pulling down a certain amount, and then all you have to worry about is going left and right. You don't have to pull down anymore. So that's, there's a mega noob tip for you. Pull down to the f level you need to, and do, you don't pull down anymore after that. You only go left and right. Okay, chat? Okay. This is what I'm always using. Let's stay over here. Let's use a dot. The slash is crazy. Of course they hear it, but if they stand over here, they don't know where it came from. What I wanted to do was um, this. That's what I wanted to do. No. What I wanted to do was this. Throw the flash over here. It takes all the attention. Sneak. He's like ladder. touching the vest. And there we go. That's the trick, Reddit! That's the trick! Yeah, and it worked! <laughs> that was pretty sick. The first shot and the trick. Oh. That's Reddit! Material right there. Because it worked. So stop making fun of me. I was gonna shoot in there like that. So I'm just gonna walk down. Gun out, let him run up. Not gonna throw any nades so that he comes at me. I want him to peek me, right? So I'll play an off angle, something weird like this. I hear him to my right at Fountain. I'm gonna get that kill. Assume there's another guy with him. It could be up to my right now. Clear this. Now hold an off angle for this that they're not expecting me to be holding. Now reposition again. There's one to my right, so I let a purple get contact. You see my radar? So now he gets a kill. Now I come up and play off of him. Get that kill. Now there could be one more behind him. Throw a flash, assuming that he was baiting behind him. Now you don't know where the last guy is. He could have been B, so he's either falling back from B above the ladder right now, or he's right to my right, right here in front of me. So he's probably falling back if he was A at first. Hey, we can be honest with you. Want to see a cool trick though? If you have an AWP now, have an AK. Can't wait though. It's not the best though. You need him in this window. You just get ready right here. If there's a guy down. What the f? So you smoke metal like this. Like the standard smoke run down in this area. Then you Molotov behind it. Molotov like this. And you can walk in behind the Molotov. Alright? You walk in behind the Molotov and you have this gap in the Molotov. They can barely see you. And if there's anyone coming roach in the middle or anyone come trying you after the smoke, you have a good uh, duel right there. I can do it again next round, but that's the nade combo and it works. I swear to God, it works in your ranks, guys. It works in even a like global, global elite from time to time. So it should be working in your ranks too. Yeah, I got it on the control main. Worst comes worst. Tips for holding a sight on cash. When worst comes to worst, make sure you save a smoke. If they try to exec on a cash, it's a joke. If they don't have mollies, you'll feel kinda jolly. You'll hide behind the quad, be ready for those mollies. Got a counter flash, ready to dash and peek the right side. Go to forklift and try and hide. They're gonna swing out the squeaky door. Try to give you some more, so just hide from the flash and pull out your M4. Wanna watch them come out the motherfucking A main. Peek them deep in the corner by the still. Shoot them in the rain. Coulda said that faster, but I was off. So I told you just to peek. A Main and fall off, smoke the end. Maintain that map control. Retake highway and go back to mid and patrol. Make sure your setup stays dynamic, and otherwise, the T's will be ready to slam it. They'll just hit B, they'll smoke tree, they'll molly headshot. They'll try to molly the back of the checkers box, then they'll clear out the triple. Peak first orange, said the last guy could be heaven. He's like my first boy, and he's just a little baby. Wait, yeah, it's here? Swap like it's computers. The middle of this white thing yeah. here? Line up, and you see how this, like, this thing, and then the wire. He's jumping. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the middle, in the middle. Okay. I did mine. <laughs> go, go yours. Uh, I'm smoking now. <laughs> go now. Jumping. <laughs> <laughs> go. Smoke. I flashed out. Uh, oh, my. Mind. Ben, three guys, three guys. Inside, what, one edge. Can you chill now? Okay. Ooh. Ooh! What a catch by Roka. That, that was huge. Very critical. Automatic. I, he played that so well. You're right. I mean, he throws that smoke and he and he looks for the. Ooh. All right, Roka. Fancy. He's just he's showing off. Um, but yeah, he I plays he plays that angle up. and just waits for that peak right on the crack of that smoke and he. Grenade out. Oh. 
It's too heavy. Wait. Wait, don't open it. Wait, Ryan, can you sit in front of the door but face the wall this way? Go like this, right here, in front of the door. Okay. No, you didn't. You're not supposed to yeah. turn. Oh shit, that. what does it do? It opens here, come back, do it again. Just face that way. Money, Molly, vent. What? I can't That's from nuts. this spot. I, yeah, I'll do it now. Give me like this. Side dead. I'm watching our close friends. Okay, guys, if you have this spawn on T side and you want to pick meat, you better not to do this. Because if CT has this spawn, this spawn, and this spawn, they will kill you. Just a little, a little help for you. But if you have this spawn, you better to go B ups really fast. Oscar usually do this. You can flash over. You can come closer, and you can hide behind this wall. So you're waiting for flash. You kill him. You know what mouth parts like to do? Might give him the bomb, yeah. Look at the radar, by the way, guys. This is something I found out. It's fucking weird. So I'm looking at the bomb here, right? It shows up in a radar. I can see if he takes it. It's like a super cool trick. So I just gotta make it, make sure it's shown on the radar, and I can see on the radar if it picks up the bomb. Don't want to score another. No, he's got it. I will show you one tip that you can use. So here is one tip. You go in the door. What the fuck? You go in the door. Then you go to knife someone. Look. He goes out. Then you close. You go in this. Boost. Minus 72. Flash bang. Out this guy, this guy will literally have no idea what the fuck hit him. Look at that shit. You can't fucking. What are you fucking? You can't turn that shit away, bro. All right, boys. You guys want to know the lineup? God flash. What the? All right, line up right here. See this little line right there. Aim at this brick right here. This little fucking brown spot right here. Boop, jump throw. There is good flashes that uh, Oscar using for robs on A side. For example, if it's smoke like this, you just stay over here. I mean, I'm using this flash right now, but he has something, some different flashes. So this, this guy never blind. You just need to turn around a little bit and pick. And the soul player is gonna be blind. They're not gonna expect these flashes because here is smoke. The guy from A apps can't even see these flashes. Just right side, left, left side of this stone. What the fuck is this? What are good A side spots on CT? So, in matches, it's almost like very, very bad if you're just quad and you just keep peeking this with a rifle. I guess jump spotting is pretty safe, but peeking this, you're almost always gonna die. So, CT sides, it's like when you have a rifle, it's kind of good to play like all these angles, like right here and just waiting for them to come to sight, or like playing right here and waiting for a forklift. Your rotator should be the guy who watches them like cross sight, you know. So those are like the basics. So when you ever feel like you hit a wall in TS, and if so, how did you break through it? I don't fucking know, dude. Change my res, change my sense, change crosshair, fucking jerk off a couple more times a day, eat some bananas and some fruits, and that's how you do it. Man. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Here is one more smoke. For example, if you smoke it like this, look, if you smoke like this, here is always a gap. A window. Packs time five or four should work. If I pull down really quick, watch how the bullets come with me. See how they immediately come down with me, and then you start pulling down. You're aiming at their feet. So what I was saying before is you need to know the point in which you need to stop pulling down and let the bullets rest a little, right? So you start here. 
you hold it there for a sec, then you slowly drop, and then you can duck if you want. So slowly drop and then hold. Don't pull down anymore. Hold, hold, hold. And see, that's how you spray a moving target right there. So say a guy peeks you right here from the library, and then he shoots at you and then keeps moving. So you're like maybe shooting a guy here. You see the guy, you react to him, and he starts moving that way. Well, see, I can't even follow him with a spray. Watch. It's not like my spray's perfect. Look at that shit. But that's the invisible line I'm talking about. See how when you spray, it gets to that flat part right there? You need to know how to manipulate that point. And that only comes from feeling. I could talk to you all day about how to, how to do it, but until you actually feel it, it's really hard. Shroud, if I pair my 4790 with a 1070, I will I get 400 FPS trouble, constant? Like, no. Doesn't work if you You're never going to get 400 FPS constant. <laughs> you know how hard that is? To get 400 FPS constant, you're probably going to have to overclock your computer, have, like, the best fucking CPU in overclock. You know what's odd, actually? This reminds me, since I'm talking about CPUs. So Tyler discovered, when you go into your BIOS and you turn off hyper-threading, you get more FPS on CS. Oh, useless. How weird is that? I feel like you, you're probably going to lose FPS in other games. Is there smoke? Look, this should be together. And here, and here, up. Let's smoke for B apps. Usually when I get this smoke, I'm trying to mola. I'm trying to go over here. So when the enemy goes over here, you need to come here, you see this little lane, and shoot on the left. This guy is gonna die. Uh, how do you practice your aim? You are crazy good, but you don't death match, I don't understand. I don't know, dude. I just don't like to play too much CS. I prefer like, not like relax, but I prefer I prefer like chill and play other games and and be chill to play CS. Oh, I don't like to play like rank ass and whatever. I just like to practice with my team and play tournaments. So I don't like to play deathmatch. Yeah. I don't like to watch demos or pubs or the official match. That's me, dude. Fuck this lion, dude. Nice. I don't remember, but something like this. Yeah, so here's the smoke. For example, if you smoke in jungle, stairs. After, you can just jump on it, wait for flash from your teammate, and pick. Pick jungle. After, you can fucking right click connector smoke, right click flash, and jump over! Now you're a hero already, and they don't know about you. I mean, they will expect you because they they have a smoke in the connector. But anyway. All right. You were asking the question was, if you miss your initial shot with an AK, but you want to spray, how do you recover the spray? <laughs> One of the toughest things is I have a hard pad. You guys can see I have a, this hard pad under the on top of the cloth pad. So this is like a separate mouse pad. So for me, I feel like it's easier if. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, I miss the shot here and I drag over. But for some people with a cloth pad, I feel it's amount of pressure. So I think one thing you got to do when you miss that first shot is know how to kind of like lighten up the pressure. I don't, I don't know how it is exactly on a cloth pad, but the ball. if you miss that shot and you know the guy stops here and ducks, the f from here to here you kind of got to lighten that pressure on your mouse and then reapply it. So you're trying to have a pre-aim, you miss it, and you drag. And when you lighten the pressure, that just means like don't shoot too early. Because if you spray, if you just shoot at him and then spray like that, it's bad. Whenever you're going to shoot and you plan on one-tapping a guy, then spraying, there should always be a gap between that first couple bullets and the next one. So, shoot, spray. See, I let go of the mouse button there, but there's a difference of, right? There's that bullet, right? So you want to just shoot and then spray. So anytime you're going to miss a bullet, or anytime you think there's a chance you miss, which is anytime, you should always plan on a little gap in between when you first shot and your spray and it's really quick so it almost seems like you carry it but you don't they watch a lot of good players do that it looks like they spray they'll be like that's, that's all um it's a burst on a spray really quick so i always try to burst the headshot the first kill unless um you have high hp and you know the guy's low and you just want to hold an off angle something like this and you just go straight for the spray 